Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Dwarven Tavern. I am Dr. Jeff Collins, your host. Uh, this time we're going to be review we, as in this guy, uh, I'm going to be reviewing uh, the uh, uh, Pathfinder 2nd uh, Edition Lost Omens Ancestry Guide. It goes for $34.99. It's a very pretty book. It's got a brick on the front. Um, it's got some, some people on the cover. So what is this book exactly? Well, this book is, it is exactly as it purports, it is a an ancestry guide, and it has expanded ancestries and heritages. And uh, with that comes uh, a number of races. It has uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then it's got about 28 different ancestries, not races, ancestries, like the Asimar, the Azar Azarketi, the Cat Folk, the Dampir, Wampir, Duskwalker, Hobgoblins, Kobolds, Leshy, Lizard Folk, Orcs, Rat Folk, Tingu, Tiefling, Androids, one of these is not like the other, uh, the uh, Aphorite, uh, Beastkin, Fetchling, Flesh Warp, the Ganzi, the Genie Kin, which is the Afrit, the Arid, the Suli, Sylph, and Undine, the Kitsune, uh, the Sprite, and the Strix. That is that is them. That is all that is in this book. And I'm not saying that like that's all that's in this book. No, I'm saying that is that is a list of all of the ones that are in this book. The book is uh, 140 pages, including the glossary and index. It is a, a thing that I've noticed uh, a lot, and I'm going to digress here for a moment. Is that a lot of folks are not uh, happy playing just a dwarf or a human they they want to really really switch it up and this this allows for that um, just because you know if you if you want to play an asimar or uh, an azarketi or what have you you can do so uh, i mean maybe you want to have gills and you know really even though i'm the kind of guy um, i like vanilla milkshakes and vanilla ice cream and vanilla video games for the most part i'll mod it up after a while but i like to i like to learn the thing in vanilla and that's fine some people would rather have gills or wings or be a little a little leaf person and that is also fine it is the thing that makes the game good for everyone is that it it's good for everyone, no matter what you like. And uh, that's the way it should be. I mean, everybody should have fun at this. And, uh, you know, you don't put somebody down just because, you know, I, I don't like tieflings. I don't like, I don't like, honestly, I don't like the Paizo Goblin. I think it's so scrappy, dude, it makes me want to puke. But a lot of people like it, and that's okay. Because that's them, it's not me. I'm not them, they're not me. That's how it works. That's how the world is. And you either get used to it or you become a hermit. The cat folk, for instance. And and it just has such a large... Uh, you can play a vampire, a dampir. And they're more like the... Uh, they're not more like the uh, Nosferatu and the Hobgoblin. I mean, you, you've got such a... Such a, a, a wide variety of options, and that's what the game's all about. So this gets five axes straight up, and I and I hope they keep doing this because, you know, it it doesn't have to have everything that I approve of, or it doesn't have to not have what I disapprove of, and I disapprove of very little. I'm not crazy about tieflings. You may love tieflings. Would I let you play a tiefling in my game? Absolutely. Uh, would I? do bad things to your tiefling because it's a tiefling in my game? Absolutely not. Karma is in the dice. <laughs> so, uh, and I've, I've seen that happen so many times that, you know, I don't have to intervene as the divine being over the table. I present the stuff, I put the universe here, and whatever it comes of it for you is, is up to your behavior and the the roll of the dice and the the dice are more karmic than any anything that I could do. So you you can play in a freet, the oreeds, a sprite if you want little butterfly wings, griggs, just on and on. A lot of very cool races that you can that you can play. I just love it. I think it's wonderful. Even though even though I'm a, I'm a vanilla guy, the options are what's important. 
So five again, five axes. This gets it. And uh, the the artwork is beautiful as always, beautiful and immersive. Um, it and and you know there's some things that are standard uh, Paizo, uh, which is uh, ease of understanding, like in the uh, beginner set that I I just reviewed. Ease of understanding, straightforward, easy to easy to read, very well organized. I mean, it's just it's so professional. It's so professional and and, and really really good. And this is a reason that they're an enormous. Uh, an enormous presence in the in the gaming world because they they do it right. They're putting the players uh, first because putting your customer first is good business, right? So uh, so yeah, I, I I just love it. I, I haven't I haven't seen anything. Uh, a few things that that Paizo put out has annoyed me. Like I'm not I'm not crazy about the goblin. I prefer the golem, uh, the Paizo golem. Uh, over the, the goblin it annoys me because of the scrappy do factor but you know again that's me so whatever I still have goblins in my game and I, my actually Tavernier Lisa is playing a goblin do I kill it because I'm playing an orc standing next to her no because everybody should have fun if she does something to make me mad I might kill the little prick but uh, so far we've gotten along pretty well <laughs> so uh, again this book Ancestry Guide, beautiful, beautiful volume. Uh, it, it does its job really well. If I could give six axes, I would. Thirty-four ninety-nine from Paizo. So, on behalf of the entire cast and crew, on that happy, happy note, uh, really impressed with this book. I am uh, Dr. Jeff Goins, wanting you to wish for nothing but adventure. And at first I feared it, then I charged in many different forms. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.